scoring does not seem to be our issue at the moment. Um, but the physicality, the mental fatigue uh, that leads to physical fatigue is the piece that we have to clean up. Um, you know, the, these are nights where you're thankful that they only count as one game um, because it doesn't matter if they beat us by 29 or 129. It only counts as one loss. Um, but our team needs to regroup right now. Um, I think we've shown over the last five weeks that we're a good basketball team. You know, tonight was a combination of not playing hard enough and you ran into a team that was hot as can be, um, especially shooting the ball from the three-point line. So credit to New Orleans. They played a fantastic game. They're playing really good basketball right now. Um, and it's on to D.C. You guys had two days off before this one, and now you've got a stretch where it's either back-to-back -back or every other. How do you find that mental energy to overcome the fatigue you're talking about, given that you don't have a lot of time off? Yeah, I think the first the first part of it is naming it. I think it's just saying out loud what's happening right now. And it's late January in the NBA. And the initial p part of the season has passed. Everybody's a little bit banged up. Um, you know, rumors start to swirl in the media about what's going to happen with the team and the trade deadline and every, everyone's names are being thrown around. Like, your mind can drift this time of year. I think, um, you know, I'm always going to try to be very aware of the fact that these guys are human beings and those things are natural. But it's our job to fight our natural instinct. Um, there's plenty of days where I would you know, prefer to rest. But that's not what this job is. This is an everyday business. This is an 82-game season. Um, and so I think the first thing the team needs to do and what we've just done is we have to name it and say, like, yeah, this is what's happening right now, and this is the issue, and we can address it. And whatever happens at a shoot-around or a film session or in the middle of the day, when we get here and the ball goes up at 7 o'clock or 7.30, whatever time tip-off is, wherever we are, we've got to find a way to crank up the gas. Um, sometimes you got to kind of create an alter ego. Like, you got to just figure out a way to become a crazy person with your hair on fire for two and a half hours, and then you can go back to being tired. Um, and that's all of us. That's the staff. That's the players. Um, and so I think naming it, addressing it head on, taking responsibility for it is the only thing we can do right now um, because I really believe that it all starts from like a mental and emotional standpoint like physical fatigue is every single person in the NBA right now that just is um, but we've got to keep our minds from thinking about that part um, and try to find a way to stay as mentally sharp as possible Mm -hmm. uh, does this give you more confidence that you'll be able to find it again, or is it harder to find again? No, I think it's um, – we will find it again. Uh, this, this happens. Like, what just happened in that game is not a shock to anyone that's been around the NBA. Like, sometimes these nights come out of nowhere. Um, they're usually on the road, and they don't feel good. But knowing our team's approach, being in that locker room, seeing the way that they interact with each other, the way that they interact with our staff, um, I have no concerns about like the ability to, to pivot back to playing great basketball, but doing it in a way that represents our organization and our fan base, like being really tough and playing really hard. Um, if we had a group that was pointing fingers and complaining and, um, you know, making this about themselves, then that would be concerning. But, um, you know, I have the opportunity every day to see these guys up close and personal. You guys see them before the games. Like, the way that they are going about their business does not give me any concern. Um, I, that would 
be a question probably better for the players. Like, I didn't feel it. We we had a practice in Houston before we left yesterday to get in the gym and blow it out a little bit. Um, I didn't feel any hangover from the game. Um, you know, once you all, you know, the game ends, we all went to eat together. It's kind of a cathartic process of, like, let's – all get through the loss together and then we went to the gym and had a great practice and um, it was pretty high energy like I think the team had moved past the game um, there may be some residual things there but I didn't feel at any point at practice or shoot around this morning or pregame that they were still overly concerned with how the Houston game ended um, you know that's, that's a good team we just played and they made us pay for lack of physicality